Hello everyone, this is uh, Daniel again over here at Douglas Fighting Arts. This is week uh, three, lesson six of the Muay Thai a course that we have. And um, well, I want to get started right away. We did some uh, great warm ups and go into a lot of uh, more head movement today, just like our previous lesson, focusing a little more on the slip today and combining it with the bob and weave. So I want to get started right away. On the bell, we're going to work on some basic fundamental mechanics. I do want to talk about one thing that I didn't mention last video. If you guys notice, in this kind of more boxing kind of style, Western traditional Western boxing, I am in a different stance. So if you watch, the way I measure it is different from when I initially showed you guys for the Muay Thai. So the Muay Thai was one, two, three rotations. This is an extra fourth rotation. One, two, three on the 90 degree turn on the third, then a 45 on the last. So it's gonna be on my, the ball of my foot and heel as I'm turning. I'm in a wider stance now. I can work my head movement easier. Hands are up. Instead of being up high here, they're going to be a little bit down low and tucking my chin. And this is my basic boxing style stance. This is going to keep me more rooted, so I can use my head movement easier and really use my legs for power and recoil to get back into the strike. So if you guys watch, again, we're going to get started with the warm-ups like we always do, working and circling the hips and coming up and down on the belt. We're going to dig it, and we'll get started. So follow me. Really quick, show respect. Hands are up, and we're here, circling the knees in. Inwards, on the first 30 seconds. Nice and easy, work this full rotation. All the way out, and now in and out. Next 15 seconds here, nice easy and easy. Working that full rotation in the hips. Get everything loose, up and over, like we're stepping over a fence. Again, my hands are here next to my face. Next one, knee taps. I bring my knee up to my shoulder. Knee up to the shoulder. Knee up to the shoulder. Knee up to the shoulder. Bring it up. Remember to open the elbows. It's always on this. We're doing our double taps. We've done it in the previous lessons here. And work that. Full range of motion if you can. Keep those hands high. Keep it up. We're just gonna start to get real today. Next one, work on our guard twist, turning the hands inwards or the elbows inwards. Keeping my hands high, engaging the core. The legs and the core are really fundamental today to make a successful head movement and really making sure that you're engaging all those different parts is what's gonna make your bob and weave and slips that we're gonna to learn today a lot more effective. Keep this trend going. Good. Few more seconds. Circle in. Elbows inwards. Making a big oval or circle with my elbows here. Switch. Back. Rotate back. You should feel in your shoulder blades, your traps, just with that full rotation in your body. Let's see. Nice and loose. Forward. And back. Forward. And back. Good. So now last minute, we're going to talk about the, the slip. And what we added on last week was the bob and weave, how we move the head in a circle. This is what we're going to work on now is the slip. So I'm, all I'm doing from this point, if I'm in my, my, my boxing stance here, my heel is up on my back foot, my front foot's flat, so nice and strong. I'm going to tip over to the side and just barely clear my head over my knee and then come back. Same with this side, then come back. Don't go too far on this one. Um, you, it's easy to fall over and lose your balance. So one here, and one out to this side. One here, one out to this side. Notice from the side here, one and two. One and two. I don't go too far, I'm going just enough to where the punch is coming straight at me. It just glides right past my ear, and I'm slipping to the outside of the punch. Left hand, right hand punch. Left hand punch comes in, right hand punch comes in. I'm slipping back and forth. Okay, next one. Next round, we're gonna go into it right away and start with our shuffle steps, like we did last week here, or last lesson. One shuffle step, we're gonna slip, slip, one, two, back, slip, slip, one, two, to the side, slip, slip, one, two, side again, slip, slip, one, two. We're gonna be adding quite a bit, so making sure that you're paying attention to the details. As I come forward, I'm gonna slip off to my back leg first, front leg, and follow up with that one, two, so my jab, 
right across. So if we continue, shuffle forward, slip to the back side, slip to the front side. One, two, back, shh, shh. One, two, shh. Back foot, front foot, shh. Back foot, front foot, shh, shh. Again, I'm doing that shuffle step. Forward, back, left, right. Next round, the next 30 seconds, when you guys hear the bell, we're gonna add a four count blitz after every slip. So back here, one, two. So here, follow me. Slip, slip, one, two, three, four. Back, shh, shh, one, two, three, four. Forward again. Side, shh, Breathing every time I punch, try to be explosive. Turn the shoulders and the hips. Four counts. Back to the combo. So back is two punches only. So slip, bang, bang. Back. Keeping good form. My hands are always up. And throwing those two punches right down the center. Remember, don't hyperextend your punches as we're going faster. Making sure you still keep it a little bit every single time you throw the punch. So I don't hyperextend and lock out my elbow. Keep it going with this one. Next round, we're going to be going into the blitz. So standing still, shoot the hands out quickly. And this is also really important. Don't hyperextend your elbows. And bring those seconds out quick. So you're trying to grab something in front of you. Hips and shoulders turn. Fast. Shoot those hands up. And back to the combo. Shuffle. Slip. Slip. One, two. Back shuffle. Slip. Slip. One, two. Side. One, two. Side. Remember, I'm going slow here so everyone can see what I'm doing. But I want you guys to practice. If you got it, a little bit quicker. Only if you can do it with good form here. Next round. We're going to go into ba adding the bob and weave. We shuffle forward. Slip, slip. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Let's just stay stationary. Slip, slip. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. And now blitz. Three, four. One, two. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. And then four count blitz. And back into it. One, two, bob and weave, bob and weave, and again. So we're combining a lot of things we did the last lesson to this. This is where we're going to start picking up and working some combinations. So next round, we're going to move away from the slip for a second before we add it back in. Everyone's going to follow me. We're going to shuffle step forward. We're going to bob and weave. One, bob and weave again, and we're going to double up on a low then high hook to kind of get the body and the core into this, which is going to work right now this round. So, following me, shuffle forward, bob and weave, goes front foot to back, back foot to front, and double up on the hook, shuffle back, one, two, shh, shh, to the side. Think yourself like Mike Tyson on this one. You have a lot of power in your hooks and use your body to get those punches in. All on the leg from the core. Shh, shh. Bob and weave one, two, shh, shh. down on your back, V up, so pointing the arms straight, touch your toes. If you can't do these ones or you're having trouble, just work on toe taps, which is just straight up and tap. But do your best to try to engage your whole body. Reach up and tap. A few more seconds, keep it going. All the way up. And down. Back up. Same combo. Shuffle forward. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. V double hook. Back. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. V double hook. Back. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Double it up.
Next one. We're going to be going down on our backs, switching up to toe taps. Same exact idea as the V ups. So if you did this the first 30 seconds, just keep it going, keeping the legs high and reaching up to attack the toes. It's important to have a strong core when we're doing any head movement. Because that's where we're twisting. Keep it going. Quickly tap the toes. Back up. Same combo. Shuffle. Bob and weave, bob and weave. Double it up. Breathe. Shake it up. 
Check it out. So now, next round. This is the final round as we're going into more random shadow boxing. I want you at home to pick a section from the combination. Any one of these punches or slips, and like we did in the beginning, break it down. You might just practice one section. Maybe the first one. Maybe you mix it up. You just want to practice the hook. I want you to pick a home. I'm going to randomize it here and just shadow box. So I come forward. I might throw a one, two, then slip. I shuffle back. I might slip and then go through the same combination. Whatever you want. This is where we get a chance to be a little creative. Turning now, I can shuffle back. And work through. Next round. I want to see fast. We're gonna work on uh, basically on my go command. I want you guys to work the rhythm hop and work through. In and out. When I say go, I want you guys to shoot out our double hooks. Coming in and double. Ready? Go. We're gonna spend another 30 seconds on this one. Keep it going. Go. Ready? Go. Keep it going. We're doing the same thing this 30 seconds. Ready? Go. Doubling it up. Low high. Work on the power. Ready? Go. And back into it. Keeping the feet apart. Don't let them come together. Go. Go. Go! Hands up and back to our combo. Remember, you guys pick shadow box. Any of the tools we use today, you get to use in whatever order. Instead of double hooks for this last minute, I want to see you guys come forward, land, one, two, three, four, the blitz, and back into it again, hands up, ready, and blitz, and back into it, work that rhythm hop, just like we did in the beginning of this lesson, ready, blitz, and back into it, hands are high, one more 30 seconds, get ready, blitz, Back into it. Ready, blitz, and back into it. Blitz, blitz, blitz. Try to keep up with me. Hands are high. Ready, blitz, back, blitz. We're gonna hop over that line. Keep your feet apart. Go. We're gonna blitz. Ready, blitz. Last hands. So, awesome job, we made it through. We have our next section talking about, like always, some of the more technicalities. So, a lot of you guys, if it's your first time doing any head movement exercise, whether it's a slip, bob and weave, I guarantee you, without someone actually there feeding you the right punch or the feed here, it's really hard to tell how much, how far you need to go to jump the belt. So an important thing to understand as you guys are working through this is when I'm working my slip, really a mirror is a boxer's best friend. So you can use a mirror in front of you, tall, half mirror, doesn't matter. So you can see yourself and you only want to move it just enough to get that punch to come past. So if a fist is this wide, imagine if it was a little bigger because of a boxing glove, you only want to go just enough to where it grazes your hair. And like the fundamentals we talked about earlier, if I'm in my stance, I want to go just right over my knee, but no further, because then I lose my balance. Same with the bob and weave, when I'm coming underneath. Again, I don't want to do this. Waste of energy, and it takes me that much more time to come up, hence I have less time to counterattack. And two, more, more time for them to hit me as I'm coming back up, so it is a longer recovery time. So try to keep everything 
precise, condensed, and don't overdo anything. Don't make it like a Hollywood block or anything like that. We're making sure every single time you're keeping yourself safe in a little package. So when doing these slips, I want everyone to watch. I'm gonna go just enough, right side, left side. It's not much of a movement, but just enough to where you can move my head. But notice what's engaging me. My legs, my core, everything is shifting all together. So it's not just this. So if I do, my hips come out, I look like I'm dancing. We don't wanna do that. You wanna keep yourself strong, bending the knees, hands are wider stance. Then when you slip, I sink into my feet, sink into my feet. Same with the bob and weave, sink into my feet. A squat, a circle, and a circle. So this is really important to know. There's a lot more detail to this, but I'll keep it short like that, just to keep it brief and have you guys understand how to practice at home. Again, use a mirror. That's gonna help you tremendously in seeing how far you need to move, only that head distance. So my hand stays here. It's helping the fist or boxing glove would be right here with my center line. I just wanna go just enough, just to get out of the way. So, feet together. Awesome work, everybody. I'll see you in uh, next week's lesson. We have a lot to cover. So we're gonna be covering some review, but then also touching base on uh, some new things. So thank you guys for sticking around. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.